Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll talk about my updated jewelry wish list and most of the items are from Cartier and Moncliffe and Arpels. I hope that you like this video. By the way, if you like my content, please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. My Instagram account is the same as my YouTube account, which is black and gold style. And please also consider checking out my other playlists. I have posted quite a few videos about luxury shopping, Chanel bags, Dior, jewelry, beauty products and travel vlogs. I have recently purchased and unboxed on my channel the ring from the Clash collection in the standard size. I will link down that video in the description box below in case you want to check it out. I'm currently obsessed with the Clash collection and I feel like I need to add something else from this collection and I was considering adding earrings as well. I tried them in a large size, they are gorgeous. I only saw them in the store once and it's been probably a few weeks. I don't see them coming back to the store. My essay told me that it takes quite some time to produce this because of the design and they are very popular. I have a choice of pre-ordering them. Of course, I would have to pay a deposit first, half of the price, I believe. And in case if they don't work on me, I would have to get something else. I was considering getting the smaller size, but then again, it will take me quite some time to get this without the diamonds because I just want the plain design, just like my ring. And I don't know, I'm not sure if I should go for this size because I have quite a few non-designer earrings in the same size not the same design and the color but pretty similar i would have to think for a while about this ones and another item that is currently on my wish list is this just include bracelet in white gold but without the diamonds i think that it's very beautiful i love the way it looks with my bracelet in yellow gold I'm just concerned about the white gold because I know it's not easy to remove scratches from it. I would have to bring it to Cartier and they would polish and remove a thin layer of gold for me. And it's very different of the yellow gold. I'm able to clean it with Jules Rouge Clove. And by the way, I will add the link to this material in a description box below for you guys in case you want to check it out. I typically get a lot of questions about it, so I'll just add the link. Another item that is currently on my wish list is this 20 motifs necklace from Van Cleef and Arpels as well. I love this stone. The color is so beautiful. And I also like it in a white mother of pearl. It's so beautiful. I will have to decide eventually between two. I think I will just only add one first and we'll think about other colors. But I really love how elegant and timeless this necklace is. And I also want to add a pair of three motif earrings in yellow gold gray mother of pearl, white mother of pearl and onyx. I feel like this color combination is so beautiful and is so easy to style. I can pair it with many of my outfits and I can also pair it with my existing Van Cleef and Arpels five motif bracelet in white mother of pearl. The only thing that is stopping me from purchasing them is the weight because they are a little bit heavier. Actually, my two motif earrings feel a lot lighter. It's not too bad. They're not that heavy, but it's just not as comfortable as the two motifs. So I'm gonna think a bit longer. And here is another pair of earrings with two motifs that I really like. I love this color combination. They are so pretty and I think that they can still stand out even though it's not white mother of pearl. It doesn't reflect the light as much, but I think the colors are just so stunning. 
and another item that i really like is this pearly bracelet from one cliff and arpas as well i really love the design of this bracelet the way the white gold is reflecting the light i also love how comfortable it is to actually wear it it's pretty light and i love it in yellow gold as well it's stunning actually i would love to stack both of them together they are just so beautiful they just look incredible together and i like that thickness even though these two bracelets are actually not in my size they were a bit too big for me and i also like this ring in white gold it would just look incredible with the bracelet together i like the set and of course it's also on my wish list i think i would get the bracelet first and then i would get the ring after that both are just incredible but i have to think a bit longer and yeah eventually i would like to add them to my collection i don't wear much white gold because i think it doesn't really suit me but i love the shade and the shine of the white gold from vca it's so stunning and you can see it from far and i also still want to add the tennis bracelet it's so beautiful and i think it would look so nice with my cartier love bracelet and with my free wall ring i really like this combination and i think eventually i will add it as well and the next item on my list is this 10 motif necklace in white mother of pearl which is so beautiful i really like the look of it and it would look great with my bracelet i tried it on before in white gold it's beautiful but i still feel like the yellow gold suits me more even when i hold it next to the necklace you can see that the yellow gold kind of pops up more but it's stunning i feel like i might add this necklace next year i keep thinking about it and even with my earrings it still looks quite nice at first i thought that maybe it's too much but looking at the footage i actually like the look of it with a casual t-shirt and with a chanel jacket i like this style a lot i also have this three months three to six months rule so i'm trying to think this through properly and another item that i really like is this galosh bracelet it's actually a bracelet so what i did i actually connected this galosh bracelet with my five motif mother of pearl van cleef and Arpels bracelet that i already have and it looks like a necklace it's so beautiful and i like the fact that there are two ways of how i can wear it it means i'll be using this item a lot hence the cost per wear will go down which is so important and if i get the 10 motif necklace i can actually connect all of them and wrap around my neck two times and they will look so nice together with galosh i really like this look I think eventually I will add it. I just don't know which item I will get first and I wanna space them out. I wanna think through this kind of purchases because in the past I actually wanted to add some items and I'm so happy that I removed them from my wish list because eventually I stopped liking them and it's not like it's so easy to sell jewelry if you sell it you will have to lose money on it unless it goes up in price maybe then you can recover you have to wait for a while so I don't want to be buying something that I may not love in the future I really have to be 120% sure in all my jewelry items that's why i want to take a longer time to think through this kind of purchases but van cleef and arpels is definitely my absolute favorite brand i love so many items from this brand 
By the way, guys, I have to mention one thing. Some of you told me that Gilosh bracelets can actually lose shine over time if they get scratched a lot and there is nothing that you can do to restore the shine. So this is something that I'm actually considering at the moment if it's so delicate and that's why I haven't pulled the trigger, but I still love it a lot and I think I will decide on it soon. I even want to add this onyx bracelet that is so beautiful. Again, I connected it with my five motif bracelet in white mother of pearl and I just turned it at the front so it looks like a necklace. It's so beautiful. I like the look of it and I like the fact that again I can wear it as a necklace and as a bracelet too. It's so pretty. It looks a bit harsh, but it depends with what I style it, I guess. If I would just wear it with a black dress or a black top or a sweater, it would just look a lot nicer. I really like this color and I think eventually I will add it to my collection as well. Maybe it won't be one of the first items that I will get because I feel like the white mother of pearl necklace or guilloche suits me a bit more, but I definitely love the onyx and I love the way it looks with my Cartier Love bracelet. And another item that I really want to add to my collection is another pair of free wall earrings in a small size but in white gold. I have this design in yellow gold and I wear them so often. I have it in fact in both sizes, in small and in a large size and both are so beautiful. I'm so happy that I have them in my collection. But I feel like I also need them in white gold because I just love this style so much. I love that they are quite light. They aren't heavy at all. I can wear them entire day. I can even travel and wear them. They're so comfortable. That's why I definitely want to add them eventually. And I'm also obsessed with this snowflake collection. I tried it on earlier this year just randomly. I fell in love with them. They're so stunning. I love three of them, but especially this ring and the earrings. They are so special and gorgeous and they cost really a lot. I feel like these are on my long-term wish list that eventually I will get them, but they're so stunning and so special and they are not very heavy as well. They're so comfortable to wear. This style can definitely go with so many different outfits and I feel like I would be wearing these earrings very often. Anyways, this is it. I hope that you like this video. Do let me know if you have any questions in the comment section down below. Please consider giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and check out my Instagram account which is the same as my YouTube account Black and Gold Style. Have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!